I love you too. That's very. <laughs> Celine, merci beaucoup. <laughs> Comment ça va? I assume it's very bien. Huh? Okay. <laughs> well, that's that, it's tai, the eagle tai is uh, it's, it's a long story. I can't tell you the story, the whole story. But it's it's, it's a golden eagle that I got to handle. You can't handle a golden eagle. It's not a pet. It's not a hawk. It's the, it doesn't do anything for you. They're the emperor. Uh, and the lesson that I, the lessons that I learned from actually holding this bird, actually, no, he was holding me. I had a, a piece of leather that went all the way up to my shoulder. Their talons are like this long. And they won't take food from you. There's no way. And they only eat what they kill. And they, they're, they're the king of the sky. They're the ultimate bird of prey. And uh, extremely endangered species. I think they're making a comeback right now in California. A uh, little bit. There's a few of them, but you can't approach. You can see them from far away. This bird is huge. I, I had to hold on to a piece of a stick of wood that they had to be able to hold my arm out. And his head is so big, he's right here. Uh, and I've never been looked. Oh, do you have it? Do you, you got it? Look at the size of this bird. It's not a bird. He's a king. He's an emperor. And he knows it. And he never changed. This bird, some idiot, I'm sorry, I said keep it clean, shot him uh, 10 years ago. And he couldn't fly. So for 10 years, this beautiful animal was flightless essentially like in a wheelchair but did he change no he looked at me like no other human being has ever looked at me before he went right through me he knew everything about me in one second you don't and I, you won't understand it until you actually feel it and when he grabs your arm with <laughs> those talons i mean he could break your bone if he squeezed enough easy no problem they're, they're very powerful. He knew that I meant no harm, and he knew that I respected him. And so what he was doing, can you put him back up? He's got his wing now. What he's doing is he's, he's protecting me from the photographer. That's what he's doing. He put his wing around and he left it out for about five minutes at least. He, because the people were the trainer. The trainer says, I've never seen him do that before. It, it touched my heart, it changed my life forever. And it taught me never lose sight of who you are because he knew who he was. Ten years later, after he was shot, after he was down on the ground, he was always the emperor, and he was. And he only did what he wanted to do. You can't make the spirit do anything for you. He's not going to dance for you. He's just going to be who he is. That's a lesson and a half. It is, uh, he reminds me uh, of Nelson Mandela and Mahatma Gandhi, Gandhiji. Uh, you know, you put them in jail for 30 years and they come out and they're still Nelson Mandela and, and Mahatma Gandhi. They don't change. That's right. right? And I, I'm going to, Celine, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut into your time a little bit because um, three days ago somebody else from the Czech Republic, uh, uh, Jana Kandova, was asking me a question about what did it feel to visit uh, Gandhi's uh, shrine. First time I went to India to do, get ready to do the Taj Mahal shows, I haven't gotten any yet. I wanted to learn about India. We're talking about the instruments. And India is just a vast country. There's no way you can just visit India and not be changed forever in your life. Got out of the airplane, the first thing I did is I went to uh, Gandhi's shrine and it was in the evening and uh, there was nobody around. And I spent, I don't know, close to an hour. I can't tell time, but that, yeah, you completely gone. And I was close, and I had my eyes closed and I was trying to connect with his spirit, with him, with his energy asking him for help to try to, to help me understand that vast country, multicultural, 
you know, it, it's just because I was about to create music and play in front of their crown jewel. And I wanted to present something that was appropriate. And uh, I was asking for his help. Um, I can't prove it, but it feel, it, I felt like I did. He taught me a lot. It was, uh, I don't care about proving anything anyway. So it, I just felt it, I felt him. And I said, just, what is India? Who is India? You can't, you, you spent two, three years there, you still don't know, it's just like China. You have to, it's, these are big countries. You don't just walk around in the land of Thank Asia, you very much. You're in China, huh? Thank you very I've much. Been in a lot of cities of China. For All right, I'll take China. a question now. Bonchon, right here. Shanghai, right here. Yeah. Chengdu is where my panda is at. Hold on for a second, where's your know, microphone? It's, uh, anyway, 